Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today saw the death in 1669 of uh, Rembrandt, um, whose paintings continue to give enormous pleasure to millions of people. Among them uh, are portraits, and uh, particularly, uh, probably 80 self-portraits, um, charting his uh, looks from the uh, debonair young man of 22 right through to very near to his, to his death. Uh, one feature of some of these self-portraits is interesting. Uh, it, 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 one side of, of the face is brilliantly lit, and then on the other side of the nose, the other side of the face uh, is in shade, or in shadow, or in darkness. Uh, and uh, it struck me that if this is how Rembrandt saw himself, then perhaps he was aware um, not just of the creative and the, the, um, the side of him of which he was proud, but, but also there was a, a shady side, a shadow. And indeed, uh, he did have a very clear <laughs> shady side because he had a complete inability to handle money. He was not poor, of course, he made considerable amounts of, uh, of money from his, from his work. He was very popular in his lifetime. Um, but he never earned enough to keep pace with his expenditure. And so when he died on this day in 1669, uh, he was buried in a pauper's grave. Uh, I think um, many of us um, have frailties and flaws uh, like that that, that uh, contrast with the, the public uh, image that we like to present and the, 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 the love and the creativity and the gifts that we um, uh, often uh, enjoy, but behind them uh, there is there is a, a darker side, and sometimes we're we're aware of this. Um, uh, and sometimes it's hard to control. Sometimes it isn't. But but being aware is the first step to uh, having some control uh, over these deeper instincts and frailties. But of course, Jung's concept of the uh, of the shadow uh, reminds us that uh, a lot of these repressed desires and, and, and flaws um, are, are unconscious, that we're not aware of them, but they still determine how we behave. Um, we, 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 our actions come from a, a part of ourselves that we're not, uh, certainly not in control of, and from, often not, not aware of. And so I, I, think, um, I think that uh, Rembrandt's need to look at himself closely in order to get the features right in his paintings uh, is a reminder to us that though we may not be drawing ourselves it's well, still worth taking a really good look at ourselves and trying to understand what might be emerging from deep within us what at the moment might be unconscious we could perhaps bring it to the surface um, it won't make it uh, immediately something that we can deal with and uh, get rid of and and make sure it doesn't cause us to do anything silly or harmful. Um, but uh, uh, over time, if we're conscious of what lies within our shadow uh, and aware of the frailties and instincts and, and, uh, and the tendencies to selfishness that lie there, then we're much more likely, uh, in the end, to be able to control them.